He's in second team All-American, and he was one of the darlings of NC State's Omaha squad a season ago, and he pumps in strike one. Up out and get everybody out in front. Goes to it there. It's Groover the third, better known as Gino Groover. And he rolls one up the middle and under the glove of Kyle Maves and into center. And Groover's aboard with two outs in the home half of the first. Position. He holds here, and it's a comebacker up the middle into center. Groover speeds to third, and there are runners at the corners for NC State in the first. As a hitter, that advantage of knowing what's coming. This one gets away from Melnick. And no advancement from Groover, but Hood does advance. That's, that looked like a strike. So they are loaded, and it hits JT Jarrett, and NC State leads. On a 1-1. Good block this time by Melnick. And they're going to say that that hit Marcy. And so two bases loaded hit batters, and it's 2-0 NC State. I'm going to have to say that Marcy's the one that called that because I didn't see anything. I didn't see the umpires call anything. Marcy just started running and they're like, yeah, okay, I think it did hit you. Oh, yeah, right on that back foot. Kind of hits right on the top of that back foot. It's going to be hard to see from this angle. You saw it. And, and uh, Cozart's doing a good job. On the ground is second. Maves vacuums. And the pack leaves him loaded, but not before NC State grabs the game's first two runs. You don't forgive, you just try to move on. As Sam Highfill has done as he strikes out Keegan O'Connor to start the second. They also have to show it, and Sam is doing just that. Strike three called. He's stuck with the fastball, and he's got back-to-back -back punch outs to start the second. Sam chance there, he's going to go ahead and choke up. Strike three calls. You're going to go ahead and get a lot more swings and misses. A strikeout for Highfill. He works away, then he runs it in on the hands. Put off and see if I can get a better pitch to hit. He takes ball four. Quinnipiac's got its first base runner with that key. Hard hit, ground ball up the middle into center from Kyle Maves. And the first hit yielded by Sam Highfill. Puts runners at first and second for Quinnipiac in the fourth. One, two. Got him! With a fastball for a big first down in the fourth for Sam Highfill. Are more like balls that are on the outside corner. Strike three calls! On the outside edge for Sam Highfill. And it's his seventh punch out. And Got to get him off of it. Talked hard in the right field, a base hit. D'Onofrio rounds third. Relay is not in time. And Quinnipiac is on the board on a run scoring single from McGuire Tuffy. And there it was again. Another fastball tries to blow it by him. And again, this Quinnipiac team, they do a good job of spoiling pitches. And he's waiting for it. He gets the fastball. It's down in the zone. Doesn't try to do too much. Nice and easy, quick swing. Stays inside this baseball. And D'Onofrio does a good job of not stopping, understanding the situation. Runner on the move. The throw will send Tuffy retreating. Coming in from third run scores. Kyle Maves got in before the out back at first. And this game is tied 2-2. I think getting out of that in gaining some confidence of, of you know slow down. Um, we kind of gave a little bit of some better at bats to kind of give him a little bit of rest. And, and likes when any pitcher throws over to first base, so it's always fun to hear it. They got something to cheer about as Cozart laces one over Maves. Marcy goes first to third.
And NC stayed with something brewing right away in the fourth. Flew out to center his first time against Garcia. And he lines this one over Maves into right center field. NC State charges back in front. And the freshman Peyton Green delivers. Boy, that was a pretty, pretty swing by Peyton Green. And you can see why Coach Elliott Avon says exactly what he says about him, that he could be a high-touted high player when he becomes a junior. He doesn't try to do too much, and a lot of times, especially young players, they get themselves into that situation. They're trying to get into pool. With runners at the corners, it hits Devontae Green. And loads the bases on the third hit batter from Brandon Garcia tonight. That's absolutely incredible. Another slider. White unloads. Left center field. Gone. Tommy Tanks does it again. <laughs> Oh my, what else can you say about this kid? He just shows what type of professional hitter he is. Gets a fastball, misses it. Then his, this AB gets a slider, looks bad on it. Looks really bad. What does he do? He gets the same pitch, stays inside this baseball, and drives it out of the park. Again, not trying to put it, hits it to left center. Garcia knew it as soon as it came off the bat that this one was not coming back. Gabby, you said it earlier. You would not throw him a fastball. Well, Brandon Garcia. Well, Sam is done. A new arm comes on to start the fifth, and Sam Lachance. Takes it to deep center off the glove of Brown. LeChance motors around second. Chugs for third. And that's how the top of the fifth inning begins for Quinnipiac. Uh, this, is a, this is a play here that I thought Brown was going to get. It looks like he just went onto his heels. And when you go onto your heels as you're backpedaling. That Omaha against Vandy. Bouncer left side will get the run in. Green. Two down. Quinnipiac cuts it to four. One, two to Green. Laced in the left, and it drops down for a base hit. Green motors to second. O'Connor's throw. Not in time. It's a two out double for Peyton Green. This one gets away from Melnick, and Green moves up 90. Four-pitch walk. Green bolts for the plate, dives in, and NC State leads by five. That, that's a straight hustle run, and that's what I'm going to call it, a hustle run, because he didn't just go ahead and Cadillac a single. He gets out of the box quick, runs hard, gets into scoring position. And then all of a sudden, it's a pass ball, another pass ball. Use the speed to get yourself to score and make it an 8-2 ball game. And that's one of the things, too, that I think. Tommy White. First pitch swinging. In the air to center. D'Onofrio back, and it's gone! The legend continues! <laughs> A seventh home run for Tommy Tanks! <laughs> hey, this is absolutely ridiculous. Hey, okay, fine. Garcia says, you got me with the slider. I'm going to go back to the fastball. First pitch, was he ready for it? And again, look where this pitch is out over the plate. Doesn't try to pull it. He's got enough power that I can hit this ball out to center field. I've hit all my balls out to center field, but this last one that went to left center, so still... Anthony D'Onofrio grounded out. Kyle Maves. Rolls one past the dive of Josh Hood in the left field. And Quinnipiac's got a one-out base runner here in the sixth. Trailing NC State by seven. It's a great weekend. Hitting five is just... It's, it's unbelievable. 
Bouncing ball through the vacated right side, and Maves advances to third on a two-strike single from Sebastian Mueller. And they're at the corners for Quinnipiac in the sixth. 1-0 pitch. This one kicks away from Cozart. And a run scores. Maves in from third. And it's a 10-4 ball game in the sixth. Two down in the sixth. 0-2. Oh, the chance strikes out swinging. So Payne bears down and he leaves a pair. In the fly ball outs here in the ninth and try to finish the deal. Danny Melnick grounds it on a hop to short. Plucked out of the air by Peyton Green. And this is over. NC State takes the opener 10-4 over Quinnipiac. And Tommy White hits two more home runs for the pack.